Guess who decided to film at 1am again? Welcome to me and my bad choices. But. So I'm going to be super real with you. For a lot of this video, I'm probably going to be looking over here at the viewfinder because shit like that is going to happen. And I'm vain and I want to make sure my hair looks like less of a natural disaster. It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't look like there was like a mountain cut in it. Right, lads. Yes, I know. I'm a little bit late with this one, but that's because I simply operate in a different dimension to all of you. In a dimension where time doesn't exist. Time don't reel, none of my videos are late. Leave me alone. But check out that clickbait title. That's gonna proper wind up Alfie if he sees it, innit? So Alfie Days, YouTube vlogger, had a chat with I'm Alex and I Nabba, two kind of commentary, kind of reaction, humour channels, back in February. But Jackmate did a response to that video last week. So it's relevant again. So I wanna join in and have a little pop as well. Jackmate's video, by the way, got over twice as many views as the original video itself did. Then I'm Alex got angry at Jack for the video and then Jack did an interview with I'm Alex and they seemed to hash things out. You know, they seemed to deal with it like actually mature people. They acted not like YouTubers in the slightest. There were no diss tracks, there was no milking it purely for views. They sorted it out. Props to them. Respect. But a few points came out of that podcast between I'm Alex and Jack that I think adds further context to the original interview that I'm Alex, Alfie and Fraser all had together. Things like how the actual original interview was over four hours long and Alfie edited it to make it seem like he kept, you know, having gotcha moments to the boys. Originally it was meant to be a chat between Fraser and Alfie and Alex wasn't really meant to be there but then he sat in as a mediator but then most of Alfie's attention got put on Alex. Also that Alfie told the guys that it was going to be just a discussion, like a chilled out, relaxed discussion about YouTube. And it wasn't chilled out in the slightest because he fucking popped off. And honestly, I came on that thing very last minute. There was going to be Fraser and Alfie and they were both like, we want somebody to kind of mediate. And I know I didn't really do that, but it was more just like, do you want to sit in? Mm. At the time when me and Fraser went on there, we thought we were just going to talk about YouTube. I didn't yeah. want to say that. We, well, The whole thing wasn't meant to be it wasn't going to be what it turned out to be. I do. Sh I've done shitty things, and in the future, I I will probably do shitty things. That's just how fucking humans work, and we learn and we grow. I am not immune to criticisms. I somewhat think that Alfie Days thinks that any fucking criticism against him is wrong. Well, and after I watched it back, that was the impression I got. Unfortunately, and I will say this, I'm not the impression I got when we sat there for four hours, which I think people don't realise. It's an hour and a half thing. Yeah. But we sat there for four, mm. and for the first hour and a half. Mm. It very much came across like, why do you criticize people? And my response was mainly, it's fun. And I don't hate I you. I also didn't realize that he was going to be that angry. I do want to say that. I, 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 did, I, I, was, I thought that even if I thought we were going to do it in a way that me and you are doing it now, none of us banging on the table. Yeah. Um, I would, but it would just make a horrible yeah, noise. Yeah, horrible noise if we in the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I was, so I was really thrown back because I was like, so like that. I don't know if you could tell, but. I started off cracking jokes. I stopped doing that pretty quickly. You turned pretty sombre. I was like, I got almost annoyed mm. at just being there. I mm. was like, I'm fucking really annoyed now. Yeah. So like, I don't, and I don't even, because I was like, I don't want to suddenly now go from cracking jokes to what the fuck are you doing? Mm. And also, I just felt like it would be so, it, it, that was not what went on there to do. But obviously when you can't achieve what, I wanted to do on there when all parties don't want to do it. So I think it'll be quite fun to go, knowing all we do now, go back to the original video, just mock Alfie a bit. People like to give him the benefit of the doubt, but personally, I think he's, I don't think he's a bad person. I don't dislike him, but I do think he knows how to play the game and he's quite manipulative slash a little bit controlling from what I've seen. But yeah, for this video, I want to go back to Alfie's original video and just go through it and, you know, point out some stuff because A, it's fun and B, views. But I suppose I have to give a tiny bit of a disclaimer. I have on occasion in the past spoken to both Inaba and Alex and I do think that they're quite nice lads. So, ooh, you're gonna be a bit biased. Well, yeah, no shit really. I don't dislike Alfie. I think he's funny to take the piss out of and I think he doesn't help himself, but I also think he's a very cocky little boy. <laughs> 
Oh, just starting drama now for the sake of it, man. Also, though I do think the criticism is valid, I do feel that people were quite a little bit unfair um, with Alex and Fraser, saying stuff like, oh, I've lost respect for them because they were conceding on so many points and they let Alfie walk all over them. But we'll, we'll kind of get to in the video why I think that happened. And when you take into consideration a few different factors, I don't really blame them for having Alfie walk all over them. It wouldn't happen to me. <laughs> but I'm a different breed of arsehole, so anyway. I'm going to make sure that I don't go over the same things that Jack made did because it'd be boring, innit? But there will be some layover because the first 30 minutes of the conversation is where all the juicy bits are. So let's just dive in. Let's just jump straight into it. What's fucking Philip DeFranco say? Philip the fuck ass. <laughs> it's that time of the night where I just start fighting with everyone. No, Philip DeFranco is a robot built by YouTube to destroy us all. Video out soon on that. Now YouTube for me is the most positive place. <laughs> Someone doesn't read the comment section. Can't really blame him though. I love making the videos I make. I love that little video that's there. Eight things I learned when I turned 25. What? Only eight? And what nuggets of wisdom are those, I wonder? What? Like, that Nala is an anagram of Alan. A pound coin is actual real currency that actual real people have to use. How to walk properly courtesy of cordially invited. And I'm super fortunate that I also really enjoy spending time and meeting and chatting to the people that spend their time watching my videos. However, there is one side of YouTube that I don't quite understand and I'm not really quite sure I will ever understand it. Hopefully today's video is gonna help me. That's because you lack the ability of critical thinking, mate. I know sometimes it hurts when you focus a bit too hard, but if you just think about it for more than 10 seconds, I'm sure some answer will pop up to you. There are people out there on YouTube who make videos tearing other YouTubers down. They don't know these people in real life, They've never met these people in real life. Now, I just couldn't help myself but message two people that do not- Why is it he's used a gif of himself looking five years younger, mischievous, but innocent, whereas he's used a picture of Fraser looking dead behind the eyes? <laughs> no offence, Fraser. What's one of those things you learn at 25, how to frame a certain narrative? For fucking money. And Alfie Days is the king of pandering. He is the king of fakeness. He is the king of bullshit. Go on, Fraser, lad. Alfie did his book for a massive cash grab. Do you want to know how much money I made from book one for my advance? Sure. 4,000 pounds. Oh my God, really? Jeez, really? That's a go. surprise to me. That is an honest surprise. No, because it was a massive cash grab. But I do still- <laughs> Do I, your fucking no, research. How am I, I like how he's used this as a little preview of him owning those two because he only earned a paltry 4,000 pounds from his low effort book. But really, it just shows how in his own world he is. Because firstly, four grand is a lot of money for doing next to fuck all. And secondly, four grand was actually his book advance. It wasn't his profit margin. So he's being a tiny, tiny little bit disingenuous, don't you think? I appreciate sure. you guys having me down. I appreciate you having no us No problem. On. You're flat yeah, thanks for that. Sound, yeah. Look at how this setup is framed already. Alfie is at the head of the table, taking the position of like the important one there. Whereas Fraser and Alex have been seated across from each other, looking like they're naughty school kids who've been sent to the head teacher's office. Which ironically is kind of how the conversation goes, these two being lectured by head teacher Alfie Days. So already by the positioning of this, they are not on equal grounds. I want to start off, off with one quote yes. from one of your most recent videos. Oh, I can't wait for this. That I'd love to discuss. The whole quirky vlogger thing is fucking bullshit. Yes. Vloggers are bullshit. Yeah. And it's starting to get to the point where I really despise the genre yeah. and I can't bear it. Yes. These people try and grow being being cool, trendy, relatable. And look at me, I'm like everybody else. I'm like you, except I'm a fucking millionaire and I just want your fucking money. Yep. And I watch that and I'm like, ooh, your vlogs aren't quite as fun anymore. You're not a real person. I did say that, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, you said that, bro. That's a quote. Why are you so angry, Alfie? I'm gonna wake people up if I go higher than that. It is 1am. <laughs> Did you have to drink plain water again because you ran out of ice cubes? Yeah, so uh, I said that because uh, I was watching uh, a bunch of people that week, uh, mainly the Americans. Recently, with all the like the gambling stuff that all the vloggers have been promoting, even from like morgues to... to bro, when to you're Logan, saying all the vloggers... You're talking about five people. Right, hear me out. I'm not actually surprised that Alex deflected the conversation to, oh, I was just talking about the American vloggers mainly. Jack May called it Botlim, which I understand, but I see it from a little bit of a different perspective. 
Alfie is over half a decade older than these guys and he's immediately opened the conversation with hostility and aggression, you know, slamming all around the place. So such open aggression would be a knock to the ego, especially when you consider their age. I might make a lot of references in, the, in this video to their age, but as I'm closer to Alfie's age, I think the self-assurance and confidence does come as you mature and get older. So I believe that it's a big factor in this conversation between these three and that's why the younger guys concede on a lot of Alfie's points when met with this older, cocky, manipulative and very passive aggressive bloke. Don't get me wrong before we head into this video even more so, I do totally think that if you're gonna talk shit about people on the internet then you best be able to back it up when you like if you see them in person i'm quite a rude person in real life anyway so there's not a whole lot i wouldn't say to someone's face that's just me everything i've said about anision i i would i would say worse to his face in real life it'll be dead funny mate if you're gonna talk shit then you should be able to back that shit up these boys are 20 not to diminish or invalidate them in the slightest just because they're younger but Alfie has, as a 25 year old, had more life experiences. I just think Alfie knew what he was doing when he agreed to set up an interview with these two. That's all. Well, they're doing really well. Um, in terms of what? In terms of views. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've obviously got like a huge audience at the moment. Yeah. And a lot of them are just completely abusing it uh, to a ridiculous extent. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the, the biggest one recently was the whole... Uh, mystery box gambling stuff. Uh, I suppose, would you class Rice Gub as a vlogger as well? I don't really know where no, he no, even lies really anymore. He does do vlogs, but I wouldn't really. You can see the exact moment that Alfie starts to get bored because they aren't talking about his favourite topic himself. It's like there's a monkey crashing symbols in there. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean... I don't do mystery boxes. I, I do think there is a thing of, though, with people representing genres, and it really does bring a bad name to one, a certain genre. So commentary is definitely looked down on by a lot of YouTubers. I think we do know that at this point. We understand. Yeah, but there are some really good commentators out there, some really nice people. Mm. We spoke about... But if I was to put a video out there saying, I hate commentary channels, you would all be offended. I know I'm not exactly a commentary channel. I'm not exactly any channel because I can never be bothered to upload properly or on time. But I genuinely wouldn't give a flying fuck if Alfie Days said he hated commentary channels or shit posters like me because I am not an utter child. I know I'm pretty immature, <laughs> incredibly immature, but I'm not a child. Oh boo hoo, not everyone loves me. Let's be real, everyone does love me. Except for Matthew Lush. Everyone else except Matthew Lush. But I wouldn't be offended in the slightest because it's completely irrelevant to my life as to whether Alfie Days likes me or not. If, if he knew who I was, of course. In fact, I would actually be offended if Alfie Days was my number one fan because I would wonder where the hell have I gone wrong? That was a joke, Alfie. Like, not, I've not got, for, for example, if we're talking about being a millionaire, I earn very good money from doing YouTube and I have done for a few years. Live in a very nice house. Mm -hmm. When I move into my house, a lot of people like yourselves and people who make similar videos are like, it's fucking different now, it's moved into a man. Number one, it's not a mansion, but number two. Firstly, it's not a mansion. It's only got six bedrooms. We don't even have living quarters for the help. What do you expect me to do? I grow, I do well on YouTube, I earn money. Oh, I just don't spend it. So when yeah, you're saying no, things I, like, I to be fair, except you're a millionaire. I never probably had a good point to make there, but I guess now we'll never know. What has that got to do with content? Well, I think when you've got people like Jake Paul, who- If looks could kill, I never would be ringing 999 right now. Very sad, press F in chat for I'm Alex, RIP. He really, really found Beans funny. Who is the one? But then call that person out. It's like watching the Discovery Channel, ancient man trying to assert his dominance as the alpha of the group. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt though. Maybe Alfie's just so surrounded by yes men that he doesn't realise that a conversation is a two-way interaction. Don't say the whole genre in general. I, I have. Call that person out. I have, I... These two do call people out though. They use specific people as titles and subjects for videos. You even showed a few examples of this at the beginning of your video, Alfie. Even Nala has a better attention span than you. I mean, I, I generalised because it is a lot of vloggers. Uh, there's a lot of them. Like, but I do you not realise how damaging that is to people that do take it seriously? Damaging. Calm down, mate. They're just saying that some of you are full of shit. They ain't saying that you're all a bunch of nonces. 
That would make for an interesting drama alert, though, wouldn't it? Oh, and he's so definitely talking, a millionaire. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Casey Neistat. So. But you were. You said you, you said yeah, bloggers just, in the genre. Yeah, I mean, but for me, it's... Yeah, obviously, you probably shouldn't generalise being really specific, but if I was going to go for a list of, like, 20, 30 people... Do it. For ages, but I suppose I'll start doing that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying start doing that. I'm just here to chat about, like... I'm just here for a friendly chat, lads. Can't you see how relaxed I am? Uh, some of the different points, YouTube. and this one was a massive fucking statement in your one of your most recent videos, and I'm like, whoa, I couldn't disagree with this more if I tried. When you're bringing things like money into it that can have absolutely no difference on content. I know friends that have got more money than you can imagine. You would never know. Yeah, I know people who have got loads, you of, loads of money. Why did you bother getting these two in for a chat if you're just going to constantly interrupt and speak over them? We're not even 10 minutes into this video and I just want to go do something else now. It's really off-putting. It proper grinds my gears when I see people do that. You may as well have just sat in a room by yourself and ranted to absolutely no one. Sort of like what I'm doing right now, actually. Because the only opinions that matter to me are mine. And Keanu Reeves. I mean, YouTube money is something that I, I specifically said I want to speak to you about because yeah. I have actually, because um, in 2017... Let's just throw out there. You both found very good. But it is very interesting to me that in a way we do in a modern society look down on people that do earn money. But in some aspects, that's fine because there are people in not just YouTube, but people earn money in a lot of shady ways. Do you not think it's fucking cool that young people are out there starting their own businesses? I stand by most of the things I say, like 95% of the things I say, but when it comes to insults, I, some of the things I used to say in 2017 was like grim. And I've said- Can we talk about some? Yes. Well, Alfie Days is the pinnacle of YouTube drama. We spoke Let's about talk this. about that. Yeah, um, because we spoke about this briefly, but, it was a case of you don't get you don't do videos on YouTube drama, obviously. But I, it's a no, case, it's no a case of like what? there was there's so many videos made on you in terms of like yeah. British YouTube drama from drama channels and comedy mm -hmm. channels. You and Zoella are probably the main ones that have been spoken about. Talking about the other day, I mean, me and Will. And what uh, thing? What things make me funny. the pinnacle? Pinnacle. What, what, what things well, I'm done? just talking about the amount of videos made on you. That's, I, I probably should have rewound. No, that. the pinnacle of YouTube drama. Let's talk. Yeah, maybe if you let Frasier finish his sentence, he could explain what he meant by the word pinnacle. What things? The one pound video? That's one. No, but what I, else? No, but I'm just, no, that's the Hello thing. Hello world, I suppose, would Hello also world. go in there. Hello world? Yeah. Uh, and then, but this is the thing that I've always said for No, a but while. I'm the pinnacle. Yeah, Come I, on, we're I, talking I, comparing no, me to Jake I, Paul, Logan Paul. Yeah, I, I do want to. 12 and a half minutes into this conversation, and this is the exact moment where I would have just been like, stick your chat up your mansion, Alfie, and call me when you actually learn how to converse like a normal human being. I'm the pinnacle. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying the things you've done. I'm saying the amount of videos. Yeah, and I wanted yeah. to, and that's like, I look at the British side and I think they're pretty harmless. I don't think you guys really do anything. Um, so it was honestly, yeah, but, where, at the same but, time. but at the same time, you guys have equally as many videos on you, if not more made by people. Far more. Far more. Babes, you wish you were as controversial as the Paul brothers. Imagine how much greener your social blade would be looking right now if you were. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I mean by pinnacle, pinnacle. of drama because that's what there I, are how more I took videos. It. They've literally spent the last minute having to explain to Alfie what pinnacle means because he's too arrogant to ask for help and use a dictionary when confronted with a word that's three syllables or more. In a day, probably when I go on that one pound video, I go, oh, I could pick like maybe five kind of holes in this. And I could probably make a video out of it. Um, and depending on, you know, it's easy to make a video as well. But when how far does it go? Like, If you're not going to listen to other people's explanations, then do not bother making a video like this in the first place at all. Just don't do it. It's redundant. For example, I would not agree to do a video or a debate with Anision because I'm completely uninterested in even hearing out whatever waffle he has to say about anything. But I'm honest about that. He's fun to mock. But I would never want to have an open dialogue with him because it would be such a waste of time. Nothing of value would be said at all. I think Alfie wanted to do a video like this so he could seem fair and real and approachable and a bit more relatable. But so far, I've seen no indication that he wants to hear anyone else's side but his own. So therefore, what was the point of making this video in the first place? Uh, and it's one of those things where there are some of them still who who do things like, for example, will mention Ollie White and his Ollie merch. I look at that, and I'm just like... This is the part 
that actually inspired me to make this video. Wait for it. Bro. Try a bit harder. I mean, you can't but that's, look at your But that's why jump. I made this. <laughs> you, no, you know, that's why I made this. No, I'm not joking, that's why I made this. That doesn't matter whether you made it because of that or not. You're still it's making ironic. fucking money off of that. Or making money off Ironic. You're I'm doing not the actually, same thing. My Take your little Tory fingers off of I'm Alex before you corrupt him and he starts eating quinoa by the pantry load. Shut up. took all the money. You so can't say you just, got ruined. you just got ruined. Shut I'm up. sorry, What's Alex. Shut just... up. But that it's was ironic. Joke. That's why I'm doing it. I... Shut up. Speak only when I tell you to, peasant scum. On a serious note, though, there's absolutely no need for that kind of body language. Directly getting into someone's personal space and poking at them before telling them to shut up is a gesture that you'd make if you were very well acquainted with someone, I would say. Judging by how angry and hostile Alfie has been to these two. Very much doubt he's on that personal level with Alex that this is acceptable. I don't like it. Watching that genuinely did like rile me up a little bit. It's rude for starters. And I may be rude, but my manners are actually impeccable. I'm very, very British. It's domineering and it's undermining. Like all of his behavior being like, shut up, shut up, poking, slamming his fists on the table, constantly interrupting to younger and I would say less confident boys. Is it actually any wonder that these two weren't as strong with their opinions as they could have been when Alfie is flailing around like a fucking chimp? In my opinion, it's clear for me to see that there's just this complete lack of respect on Alfie's part. And I bet you, one pound, he would never have acted like that with Jack Mate. Because he and the rest of us know that a Jack Mate would not have entertained that bullshit for 10 seconds. He's acting this way because he feels, and probably correctly so, that he has the upper hand over these boys so he can boss them around, dominate the conversation. Okay, where's that money going then? Charity, yeah? Well, I don't know. Charity. I never got paid. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah, Once true. you do start making money, charity, yeah, I hope. Give it a rest, Alfie, you patronising little twit. When I look at it, because I've seen, for example, great example uh, is uh, Filthy Frank. Uh, he released the Pink Guy album that, according to a lot I of people, know, yeah. he half asked purely yeah. so he could use the money from that to fund his actual music career. But, yeah. Right, Alex, gonna have to stop you there, mate. Firstly... Filthy Frank is a universal fucking treasure, and I would happily pay Joji to punch me in the face several times. Secondly, even if he did half-ass Pink Season, it's still an album with 35 tracks on. So the amount of work, even half-ass, that would have gone into making something like that simply isn't comparable with spending 10 minutes on Photoshop making some shitty merch designs. And thirdly, even if it was half-assed, Joji has more talent in his pink suit than all of the British vloggers combined, so pink season was still a banger. The gloves are coming off if you're going to mention Joji in less than over-the-top and obsessional fanatical terms, buddy. I feel like shit just for Filthy Frank back. Alfie is the king of pandering, the king of fakeness, and the king of bullshit. Where is the lie, though? No, just I, the first I, I, time I do stand by that. I feel like... I was speaking so to I can't support my viewers, but I, you, I, you don't want to anger people, even if they're being rude to you. Like I've had people come up to me at events, and they're like, "We're doing the boxing," and one guy was like, "Let's box," and he just like punching me, and I was still just being like, "I was like, had you made a video oh. on him?" <laughs> yeah, I was saying, we need to stop this one bloke. No, I was just like, I was like, ah, oh, that's funny. He was hitting me, but I was like, ah, yeah. oh, it's funny. He's like, I appreciate you coming, mate. Thanks for turning up. Because you don't want to turn around and go, "Fuck off." Yeah. I don't know, Alex, if someone comes up to you in public and starts randomly hitting you, I do believe you reserve the right to tell him to fuck off. So you kind of become a part of... Oh, phone's out. You've bored him, Alex, with all of your actually try and have a real conversation nonsense. Boring. Boring. I have grown as a career, and 100%. I do, and I do believe yeah. that I have definitely. And I think, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this because I'm with Alfie Days now. I've said this on my channel. I've tweeted about this, mm -hmm. and even in other videos before, I've said I've said some nasty things, and I don't like. I've that. also said on my channel, and I've said this to you multiple times about you, actually, mm -hmm. specific. Oh no, it's too late. Alfie's already corrupted Alex. Won't someone please think of I Nabba? I just what? hope people are aware, no matter how old you are that as soon as you're putting something out there, number one, that's out there forever. Forever. And number two, the responsibility that holds for you can say, oh no, I take the back, I don't think about that anymore. 
Oh, I retract that. Alfie, why are you so against the idea of people being able to grow and change their opinions? You just genuinely don't want people to have opinions that are critical of you and your nonsense. Like, people don't exist just to lick your ass, mate. Just, if someone has a bad opinion of you, get over it. You're not a child. If we do think about that and we do start thinking, well, this might feed into a narrative, this might make people think that. It's called research, my friend. Yeah, I know, I'm not research. saying, no, but I'm saying. It, no, I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, I'm not like. No, I, I don't. I will say this that video I've, is not here to slam commentary. Yeah, because yeah, no, that all. again is. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to end commentary. No. <laughs> well, for example, the one pound video. The one pound video. Alfie Days Ooh. is out of touch and a dickhead. I, I but Will example. and E says that I'm Alex makes 50 grand a month in a YouTube video. And everybody goes, oh, good on you, mate. Well done. Celebrate it. Do you and know how many other people have so... done the one pound video before me? <laughs> Hundreds. A lot of people. Yeah. People had an issue with the way that Alfie did the one pound video. Not necessarily that he did it. For example, there's this channel called London Hacks who did the one pound challenge, living on a pound in London for a week. But he did it in an educational way, showing people where to go around London to get free or really cheap food, or what apps to download to get free food off of other people who didn't want to waste their like you know, shopping words, etc., etc. But London Hacks is a genuinely good channel with well-researched videos and well-thought-out content which actually serves as being helpful to people. Alfie, meanwhile, complained about not having cubes of ice for his water and then spent loads of money on a beard comb. I could literally say anything. I really could, and I have full belief in that now. I could turn, I could put a camera on tomorrow and go, Alfie Days has killed a hundred children. He's killed a hundred children, everybody. There's no proof that it's happened, but Alfie Days has done that. And it would get 60,000 likes and a million views, and nobody would ever question it. I think people might question if Alfie Day suddenly killed a hundred children. It'd probably at least get a brief mention in the Metro or something. Now, like, I got tweets today saying, don't speak to Alfie Days. And I'm like, that is, that so is not bad. what I want my channel to be. I agree with him there. Alex should be able to speak to Alfie if he wants. He can speak to anyone if he wants. The jury is out on whether Alfie can listen to anyone other than the monkey crashing cymbals in his head, but we might be pleasantly surprised yet. I feel like if somebody says, I don't enjoy when I see this negative thing, I feel like a lot of the time they're lying. I mean, it's the difference between being negative and- I just see it like a and, fucking car crash. And being evil. I don't want to watch it, don't want to look, don't want to look. Shit, I looked, I didn't like that. Yeah. That to me is watching a negative comment channel video. It's like, don't want to watch this. Click on it. I watch it all, watch someone get absolutely slammed for probably nothing at all. And then afterwards I'm like, feel shit now. How can someone be on the internet for so long and still get affected by strangers saying negative things about them? You should read my comment section sometime, Alfie. You'd have a heart attack. Everyone's bullying me currently because I did this to my hair. Did I bring it upon myself? Probably. Just dry your eyes for some 50 pound notes, Alf. Again, that was a joke. I have to say it's a joke, just in case Alfie's watching and needs a helping hand. I don't want to be like, I want to hate Alfie Days for the remainder of my life. I don't hate anyone on YouTube. I don't think I even really dislike anyone. I don't really dislike many people. Except people that genuinely think that PewDiePie is a Nazi. They can go fuck themselves. But in terms of YouTube, I don't really dislike anyone. I don't even hate Anision. Like, he's a, he's a train wreck. It's really entertaining to watch. YouTube in general is entertaining to watch. It's just like a circus full of freaks. And I got a front row ticket. Alfie did his book for a massive cash grab. Which book was that? You said it. Is it the point? You said it. You said it. He's so arrogant that he thinks Frasier is going to remember every single negative thing he's ever said about Alfie because Alfie is just that important. No, but I'm talking about me and massive cash grab for my book. Because yeah. I'm... Obviously, baffled no. and I would love to know how you know how much money I made from it. I don't know how much money I made from book one for my advance. Sure. Four thousand pounds. Oh my god, really? Jeez, really? That's a surprise go. to me. That is an honest surprise. No, because it was a massive cash grab. As I said at the beginning of the video, that's the money from the advance, not from the overall profit margin. The point of this book was a bestseller in 2014, and I for one do not believe that it only made four grand. And that's not the point anyway. The point was it's a very low effort book. <laughs> But I do still- <laughs> Do I, your fucking no, research! How am, I, how am I meant to find out how much money Ask you make me. But I, Literally, a chimp flinging his own shit around. Out half a million that's, people that is not true. But that's plenty of videos. Yeah, people who have videos of me don't come near me. Yeah, exactly. Have Jack mate on them, big man. Like, go on, actually do that. 
I would be more convinced that you actually wanted a genuine conversation with someone who's critical of you if you had Jack Mate come on your channel. This video of Alex and Fraser is masquerading as a chat, but for you, it's just been an opportunity for you to just peacock around. That's how I see it. There are some occasions where it's like, yeah, you really went too far. Logan Paul, Japan. Logan. Yeah, yeah, that's like, yo, we, I can't forgive that. I don't think anyone can forgive that. We no, saw the true I, I, I video can't. That, that he's going to really take a long time to earn that back, yeah. No, I, I think that's incorrect. Logan Paul has been appealing to an older audience with his recent content. And me and Justin Wang have this theory that everyone's going to start liking him again as soon as it's socially acceptable to do so. En masse. Personally, I can't wait for the mental gymnastics for when that happens as people try to desperately justify it. But I believe absolutely it's going to happen. It's all day about That's people why I told like Gab, I, I don't even read 99% I stopped reading. Can I, can I go to the toilet? I really yeah, need go cheers. for it. <laughs> He's so sweet. Alfie doesn't deserve Fraser in that room with him. Just gets a bit boring after this, really. Alfie calms down around the 40 minute mark. See? He can listen to others. He just chooses not to. This video is already far too long. But to sum up, Alfie, grow up. Like, that's it. Just grow up. Just stop giving a shit, mate. Just go buy a diamond encrusted trampoline and have some fun. Stop bloody moaning. I don't even dislike you. I'd happily have a chat with you, Alfie. But like Jack, mate, you won't be able to boss me around, so that that's gonna happen. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about the discussion. Just what bothered me and inspired me to make this video was when I saw Alfie just poking at Alex. Didn't like that, didn't rate that in the slightest. That, and I saw loads of comments just being like, oh, I've lost, res I've lost respect for Alex. And it's like, chill fam, just chill. Maybe he's just not very good at dealing with confrontation and Alfie was being super confrontational. Maybe it's the fact that like, he is younger and perhaps not so good at standing up for himself. I think it was a confidence thing, so just like, lay off, lay off them all a little bit, yeah? It's all very well and good saying, well, if I was there, I'd have done this differently, blah, blah, blah. But you don't really know until you're in that sort of situation with someone, how it's going to go. And I bet the people who who are saying that kind of stuff, oh, I lost respect for Alex, you should be able to like do this. You should... I bet you wouldn't even make a video on Alfie Days. Not me, though. I'm Billy Big Balls. I'll do what I fucking want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. It's called research, my friend. Do your fucking research.